Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Blanchard. And I'm Dave Maddow. And last week on King of the Palace, Dennis Nuzzo defeated Anthony Karen. And now this week, Steve, Dennis Nuzzo has to face Steve Renaud Jr. It's going to be a spectacular match. Up first, Steve Reno Jr. This is his first appearance on King of the Palace. Rolls out of bogey lanes with a 118 average. His qualifying score today was a 425. Okay, Steve Reno Jr. up on alley three for his box. Oh, yeah. Opening door hammer. A hammer on the first ball delivery. What an excellent shot, what a pleasant sight to see. Here on the King of the Palace. Excellent. What a way to open up his re his run for the King of the Palace. Let's hope he gets maybe a double and pin again. Oh, he left the six and the ten. Oh, would he love to spare on this on the strike? He's looking at it. I think he's going to try to drill the six pin yeah, and go it, right into the ten. If he hits that dead one on the side, this may hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice no. pickup. No doubt about it. Strike, spare, start. Up now, Dennis Nuzzo. This is his second appearance on King of the Palace. Last week, he defeated Anthony Karen. Dennis comes out of Lucky Strike Lane with a 114 average, and his qualifying score for the King of the Palace was 414. Well, let's see if Dennis can me measure up to it. Yeah. He's facing the strike spare to start off here on King of the Palace. Warms up. He found the head pin. Oh, and he's left. Pin Come on, up. hit it. Oh. oh, rattles around the 10 and settles up against the 10. Excellent, excellent first ball. Found the pocket, dropped nine, left the 10. He picks up the spare. Yeah, it's a nice favorable wood there. Drilled yeah. right into the wood, took the pin right out. He opens up with a spare. He'd love to get the strike now and get a great, great start like Steve Reno Jr. Yeah, he definitely he answered his uh, Steve Reno's call. Working on a spear, he wants the 8, 9, or the 10 for the fill. He zeroed in. Oh, oh half oh. Worcester to the very, left. Very, very disappointing. That's all right. Ball drifted a little bit left, took out the 2 and the 8, commonly known as a half Worcester. Very disappointing. Oh, Ooh, right Whoa. through the hole. Whoa. That's frustrating. Well, now he's just going to hit the head pin, try to get out of this with an 8, 9, or a 10 box. Really hurts the fill. Oh, oh no! Worcester to the how, other side. How often do you see something like that? Oh, that's just disgusting. Uh, well, well, he's got to come back in the third box and shake it off. Okay, so Reno up on the spare. Alvin Creek head pin again, Ooh. and he's left the four, six, seven, ten. Very, very difficult spear, and he can't up in bowl, and this spear is known as the double pinochle. Oh, man, we're going to the old folks' home, people. We're playing double pinochle. Up next, go fish. The double pinochle, very rarely seen, David. Very difficult shot for a spear, but came out of it with a nine drop. Well, it'd probably be good for a spear if you had a little bit of uh, deadwood lying around the rattle around, but that's definitely a definitely tough you know, shot I, if, to pick if up. our excellent senior producer, director, uh, Travis Paul, Say that no he, luck on that. No, and here it is again. Yeah. We don't have it all last year. I'm almost uh, going to finish to say we haven't had it. Huh. He was going to check the archives, and here it is again. People, I apologize out there in TV land. I just, the guy needs therapy. What can I say? <laughs> A double peanut. Go back to back. Head pin hits. The object of the game is to hit the head pin, and you get penalized. I have no idea. You know how to play oh. Oh. Nice 10. Beautiful yes, pickup. What a nice shot for You know how to play Pinochle? Yes, I have to lady pass. Oh, okay, okay, he just picked up a nice 10. Very do you, difficult. Do you, pay for, do you play like for like prune juice and stuff like that? No, or no. What? Play for cash. Okay. Cashews? Cashews are for stuff. Ooh, I like cashews. Yes, okay, here is Dennis Orr. I still can't get over this. He's back-to-back double Pinochle. Unbelievable. 
Hey, at least it wasn't a back-to-back -back strike. You know, spread eagle. spread eagle. Then I really would have went crazy. Okay, <laughs> here's Dennis trying to recover from that. Oh, he Rock. throws it to the left again. And he's left the four horsemen right, the one, the three, the six, and the ten. Oh, the mole Larry Curley and Champ. Very difficult spear shot. There we go. Runs the, oh, oh, I thought he was going to run the ladder. There he again, it. he's got four pins up. He hits the object, punches it straight back into the pin pit, and gets a one pin out of four. Oh, he hit it, hit it a little full. Oh, he drops the two corners, the six. It's a lot better than the nine. four box in his last one. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. He's off in the last two boxes. He's got to find the head pin here. He's got to find the pocket. Yeah, let's see if he can't turn around and drop a hammer and pick up some pins on Junior. Hammer! Nothing beautiful, but the plate. Beautiful. What a beautiful hammer. What a Found nice explosion. Found it, was there, needed it, picked it up. He got confidence is back. Two out of four boxes got strikes. He needed that. Yeah. Okay, Junior, Steve Jr. up. And he's got the head pin. He's left the 3-5. Very makeable two-pin spear with some wood. I don't think it'll be a factor. He's got to drill the three-pin into the five. Either that or go Nice pickup. Nice pickup. Drill the three into the five. Nice spear shot. Very nice. Oh, going, into the, going into this third box. Junior had a 17 pin lead and he's just increasing it. Head pin again. Oh, well, look at this. He's left five pins. He hit the head pin. He hit the pocket. He only dropped five. Wanted more. Very disappointed. Very difficult spear shot here. Three, six, ten, nine, and seven. And, ooh, oh. left the nine and the seven. Didn't even wiggle. No. No this. contact my, made with either pin. They're just sitting there. Come and get me. Yep, absolutely. And he played the nine. Pin for the nine ball. Okay. Okay. Dennis Nuzzo getting ready to fill his strike. Oh, he would love to have a double. Oh, oh and he wants to have the, to make up for that double trip to Whistler. He went to Whistler and came back. Okay, yep. here he goes. Oh, does he want the double? Or at least a nice favorable nine of spare lead. Oh, oh a half no. whistle to the right. Right. Oh, oh, and he knows it. He knows it. He looked up into the sky. He uh, looked up, he's shaking his all. he's got to keep his composure. He's got yeah. two balls to fill on the strike. Got to get the head pin, okay. Uh, all right, nothing wrong with a seven. No, no, nope. let's see if he can't pick up. Yeah, At least a 6-10 for a, for a favorable nine. Yeah. He's, he's got to get the 6-10. Needs the two, yes. Okay. Nothing wrong with a seven fill and then a nine box. Gives you 26. It's a good recovery from a half whistle. whistle. Oh, very disappointing. Three half whistles out of six shots. Very disappointing. Back on alley four, box number four. Delivers. Wide left, left. Side. Oh, fouled out. Oh, a little Leaves bit of back action. the 6'10 with some wood lying around, and I don't know if this is going to be favorable. Or not. He's going up oh. to take a good close look at it. It appears maybe that front wood is over the, the, the foul line for the wood. Should be all right. He's just looking at the leave. Okay, it is. Yes, you're right. Double, I double checked it. You're absolutely correct. Oh, oh yeah. Or it was a roadblock. Three pieces of wood. Yeah. There's a replay machine in action. Showed it. What happened? Yeah. You never know. It was. Uh, the wood was a hindrance. Yep. Kind of figured that wood would. Um, you just never either, know. Either help him or hinder him. Right now, after six, Dennis Nuzzo, 63. Steve Reno Jr. a 79. Oh, we got some bowling going on here. Very disappointing Dennis Nuzzle four box, but he's recovered. Steve Reno cranks it. Oh, left wide left. Side. Wide left. One, three, ten, and seven. Left with a piece of dead wood up against the ten. It's got in the channel. Got to get the head pin. Got to get the head pin. Take it. Ooh, and he did. Not. He, nothing happened. Oh. The seven, ten remained. Didn't even wiggle. No contact made. Yep. I thought at least was going to get a shake out of it. Nothing. Yep. Nope. Coined the term. He left the railroad spikes. And he got the 10. Nice 10. Nice 10 played the good. Nothing wrong with a 10. Okay. Let's see what happens now in alley four. Ready to go. Box number eight. Ugly three pin split. Leaves the two, six, and 10 with some wood up against the two. And a piece of wood just about in front of the six. Where's this gonna one's going to be kind of tough. I would probably try to cap that piece on, on the six. Oh, he did. He threw it over there. The six wiggled, did not fall. He needs to 
Six in the ten for ten balls. I'm gonna tell you what, Steve Reno Jr. does not waste any time up there. He just grabs the ball, takes a look, and he throws. He's not what you call a deliberate ball. Like he uh, just gets up there and fires. And that's it. That there's no rhyme or reason behind anybody's delivery. Everybody's nope. different. We yep. all know that. It's Caleb and Bowling. Doesn't matter. Nope. Dennis Nuzzle likes to think about it Butter. for a second and. Wide right Another. again. He's, he's standing like, why? He's dis what is going on? on? He's disappointed. He's shaking his head. I understand. I've been there. Yo, it happens. Yep, Dennis has actually been on TV before. <laughs> long, long time ago. Oh, oh, oh this, is, look at this. this is disgusting. Are you One, kidding me? Four, six for a ten box. One, four, seven, six, and ten. Oh, oh beautiful yes, pick yes. Up did you see ten. that, people? What an excellent, excellent ten box. Probably can't do any better than that. That's prettier than a strike any day of the week. That was Caught just the beautiful. head pin to the right side, flew everything over. What a confidence ball. Travis Shock shot like on that. our replay machine showing the action. Beautiful. And he's wide right again. Dennis having a little trouble. He found yep. it and he lost it. Oh, he's one, good. two, four, seven, nine, and ten with a piece of dead wood oh, in he'd between love to get the a one spare. and the two. He'd love a spare here. Difficult. Nice. Yes, he did out. it. He's pumped. He pumped. He needed it. A piece of wood or a pin flew over, took out the nine to ten. Yep, he's closing oh. the gap right now. Steve Reno Jr. has got a 16-point lead against Des Dennis. Oh, oh I thought he had a shot at the hammer. Found the head pin, drilled Ooh, it. He's got a lot of wood down there. He's left the seven ten. He's got four pieces of wood. He's going to... As you say, David, spray and pray. And he yes, picked it up. It Beautiful. Oh, shot. that ball exploded those pieces of dead wood. He wanted it. He got it. He's ready to go already. Doesn't think about it. Just puts the ball in his hand. Eyeballs a hit pin. Oh. Dropped it left. Only a four. Disappointing. Very yeah. disappointing. Yeah, he leaves the one, five, three, six, nine, and ten. And he picks up. Oh. Short pinned it. He was trying to will it over with his foot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nice 10. Nice, nice opening line. Nice, nice. Oh, Dennis looking to close out the first match. And Dennis is on up box on box number nine. Okay, here he is. Oh. To the left. Wide left. Leaves the four husband right along with the... Eight and nine. With wood. He's got to split the head pin again to get the spare. He's got to throw, basically, once again, people throw a strike ball to get the spare. Oh, no, no, no. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Tough oh. luck, Dennis. All right, well, pick up the ten. Yeah, he'd so like to get know, the Every ten. pin counts right now. Yeah. He's trying to close a gap. Disappointing. Close to the nine with an eight box. Oh, he wanted the momentum. He wanted a good throw and a good spear shot. That's all right. He has a chance to close the gap a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. he's got to get the knock. He needs it up. I know. No, he's trying to make up a little bit of He pins. needs a little bit discouraged. Threw the towel down. He's got to find it. He's got to come it's back. It's frustrating. He found there it. it is. He did find it. Come on, oh, pin short pin. pinned it. This one is not, not in his favor. He's got the five pin sitting there alone with a two pieces of wood shaped like a V. And oh, ooh, he oh, went he around did. it. He went around it. Nice I probably ball. would have went to the other side. Yeah. Now he needs the big fill. He wants the eight, nine, and 10. Yeah, absolutely. To bring the momentum into, sure. the next, into the next game. I'm pretty sure he's looking for that 10 box. He found, oh, he did find it on the right. He got an eight drop. Nothing oh. wrong with an eight drop. Nope, left the two and 10 to close out the 10th box. Great bowling by both guys. Oh, nice spare shot, some strikes and. Right now, Dennis Nuzzle closes out the first match with a 113 to Steve Reno's 123. Going into the second match, Steve Reno Jr. has a 10 pin lead on Dennis. Saw four, four marks by Steve Reno, opening up with the strike and the, the spare and the strike really helped him. And Dennis came back with some good shots. Yep, and now it's Striking Dennis's the... turn to start things off and see if he can't close his 10 pin lead on Started off with a strike in the first box and the fourth box and in between. 
No, oh, I thought he had it. I thought the nine was going to throw it, but yep. it didn't. No, he's got a little bit of wood down here, so yo, he has two choices. Either you go right at the pin, or you hit that piece of dead wood laying up against it. And he did. Yeah, he, he played the he played the caram off the dead wood. It's all right. It's all, all right. good. All looks the same. All looks the same. It's a spare. It's only a, it's only a ten until you fill it. Oh, right. Only weak ball. Unfortunately, drifted right. He's left five pins up for spare, five on the drop. Well, one, two, five, nine, and eight with no wood. Very difficult spin. Oh. Punches right through, leaves the two and the nine. Oh. Ugly. Ugly. But ugly. This, you can pick this up for a ten. Oh. Right oh. through. Right through. Well, started off with a 24, excuse me, 23. Get the mark to get some momentum. Okay, Steve Reno up, Junior. Steve Reno Junior up on alley three, box number three. Head no. Off Wide. to the right. Now he leaves us the head pin. Drills the three into the six and leaves the head pin. Well, because he didn't hit the head pin. That's right. But still, how did that pin? That's called the lucky break. Oh, he missed it. He oh. got. He got lucky. I guess so. And some people would rather be lucky than good. Right. And Steve Reno Jr. is good. But unfortunately, when something like that happens, you have to actually Catch capitalize it. on it. Yeah. Unfortunately, he dropped it right. He missed it. He knows it. He didn't He's miss it by much. He's disappointed. He's surprised the breeze didn't take that over. He's got to forget about it. Ooh, He's oh, way no. left on that one. Way left, but he's left the one, the two, the three. And a triangle we call in canopy bowling. It's a very difficult shot. It does look like it's easy to make. There's two trains of thoughts of making it. How? Either to the left or to the right of the head pin. Yo, you hit that head pin dead on, you're going to push that head pin right through. This and isn't the ball as will soon easy follow. as it, it seems. Well, he did picks it. it up. He just slightly right up to the right hand. You said he went to the right, he split it, and he made it. Yep, right now, up now, Dennis Nuzzo. Dennis is actually knocking down that lead. It's only four pins for Steve Reno Jr. Okay, here he is. He found it. A little right weak. Hand. Little weak. Little light on the on the head pin on the left hand side, well, but it works. This is um Make this could be a, a a favorable pickup in his. He's got to drill the wood. Gotta he, he's got to he's got a red line that wood. Oh, he's shaking his head. I agree with him. Yeah, I do. The the three and the the. the You may think it's so simple with a piece of wood, oh, not a problem. And then all of a sudden you throw it, and the answer's still no. All right, he's trying to shake off the disappointment. We've all been there. It's all happened to everybody. You just got to keep on throwing. Uh, off to the left. left. No. Yeah, he's on, to the, he's on the two pin kick. Yeah, he's left the one, the three, the nine, some wood. Yeah, you want to probably try to kick that one off the wall. Hey, go! he drove nice. it. Drove nice between ball. the one and the three and took it all out. Beautiful a remarkable shot. spare, an excellent three pin spare shot. Very, very difficult. Up, up now, Steve Reno working on his spare. Oh, he wants the big fill. He cranks a head pick. Ooh, this. What is this? What is this? <laughs> this isn't he, Halloween yet. That's a horror show. Oh. He drops four pins on a pocket hit on a oh. fill. Leaves the three, five, four, and seven. And he picks it up oh, for a Very ten. nice tender. Very nice comeback. Very nice. I know, he's shaking his head. I agree. Yes. There's been some more bizarre things here happening in this first match of the King of the Palace. He, he found it this time. Look at the way that okay. wood's rolling around. He threw that oh. ball hard. Now he's left the 10 pin for spear. He's got wood. I think he's going to play the wood. I would try to. If you can see that 10 pin, go right at it. But if not, oh, he use did. the wood. Yep. He, Dennis Nuzzle up. He's trying to be nice. Oh. <laughs> now he's left the one three six. Wide left. He's been wide left a lot. Piece of wood and half in the channel and half on the six. Three pins in a row in consecutive, not in consecutive order, but 
gets one another called the Queen's Leaf. Oh, he missed it. He you missed the Queen's You just didn't throw leaf. out a Queen's Leaf out there again, did you? Yes, I did. It's a, it's a common shot. What the, oh. There's no Queen in there. David, what? How do I know? All I know is three pins in a row like that, and any combination, is known as the Queen's Leaf. Very difficult shot. Not as easy as everyone makes it up to be. Okay, Dennis, he found it! Oh, and he left the five pin in Candlepin Bowling, better known as the Kingpin. Well, this show is, is going all over the place and and we're opening up in new markets. You know, it'll soon be, we'll soon be in Saugus. So yeah. hello everybody in Saugus. If this is your first time viewing it, glad you're aboard. Um, we're also looking into having it in Sterling. What? Yo, looking forward to it airing in Sterling and you know, other places. So if you want it in your neck of the woods, turn around and call up your local Access TV channel and say, hey, I want King of the Palace on my TV. They'll contact us and we'll square it all away. Okay, Dennis Nuzzle unfortunately missed the five pin for a spare. And now Steve Reno Jr. up on alley three, punches out the half wrist to right. The on, a, nine. on a spare, On Phil. a spare, yeah, very difficult. Very disappointing, very difficult shot to make up. So now he's got four left up for 10. And oh. he got eight. Exciting sport. You know how much I enjoy I know how much you enjoy I know how much Travis, I know how much our league bowls enjoy it. Everybody, you know, it's it, for the, just starting out in a, a small market in, you know, little old Fitchburg, Mass, and then it hit Lemonster, and now it's, you know, going out, it's, 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 it's expanding. make its mark, you know, and then, you know, hopefully someday we'll pick up some sponsors and get ready to rock and roll and make it bigger and better and make Candle Pin Bowling back it's on the map. It's definitely coming back. I can feel it all right. He, for some unknown reason, just the one and the th two pin came out. I thought he had a better shot at getting more down. He didn't. He's left two for disappointing back-to-back -back eights. Dennis Nuzzle climbing back into this. He actually has a 10-pin lead over Steve Renault Jr. We're tied. 72 to 62 in the sixth. Dennis getting ready to see if he can't kick that door open a little bit more and you know, reverse it and get, get pinned on his side. Well, he dropped that one wide right. He's looking he knew up it. He He's knew disappointed. It. Why did why they do it? Hey, it happens. All right, he's got to get back on the strike ball. He throws one, a strike three, ball two, here. Five, four. A strike ball here will give him a spin. Seven and eight. And oh, he it. As soon as it left his like hand, ball. David, if you watch veteran Candleton bowlers, as soon as they release the ball, they know they're going to miss their object. They react to it. Okay. Unfortunately, and the yeah, he did. goes and he leaves the head pin. There's another example of why the dead wood rolled into the ten pin and the ten pin fell. Other times I've seen the piece of dead wood roll faster and harder into a pin and it doesn't go down. Why? I don't know. Dennis is getting ready to go on alley four. He wants to, he wants to make a streak. Right, oh, oh, right again. Just off the head pin just a little yeah. bit. And you know in candle pin bowling it's just like a small minor adjustment either to the left or to the right. You know he's got shot of the spear here. Oh and, ooh, that pin just went right by the six behind. It is 60 feet from the foul line to the head pin. And you gotta be accurate. You gotta get the head pin. Yeah. That's a 10 box. And then you get the lucky breaks, the backdoor strikes, mm -hmm. and then you get ugly leaves, and it's... it's well, here's it's, a classic example. Steve Reno missed the head pin twice, and then Dennis missed it. it. It's the object is to hit it. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Oh, he found it that time, and he's left the 9 and the 10. He's shaking his head. What is going on on today's show? Well... The nine to ten parallel pins. He's going to play the wood here. He's got to. It's the only I, way to make it. This is tough. Oh, oh. No. I don't know what happened. He well, didn't... no, he was looking at that piece of yeah. wood on the other side, the yeah. second piece that's slanted to try to slide everything over. And he should have played that one in the first place. But he, he leaves it. the ten box. I mean the ten pin. Leaves the ten pin for nine box. Okay, he's up on alley four. The last box. Here he goes. 
He went wide left. He's left over. Late, late oh, action. listen, once again, a favorable, favorable. He got lucky. Draw. He got lucky. Okay. He got lucky. He's got the one and the two. And oh, he's off. He's off. He, he, he just off this string. He missed the head pin earlier before a single pin spare and yeah. missed this one. Yeah, what drove it and went right into it. After that, Dennis Nusso has a one pin lead over Steve Reno Jr. Nope. Two boxes to go to determine who will win and go on in the King of the Pals here in our fabulous tournament. Yep, we'll see what happens. Let's see what Dennis can close this thing up pretty big. Oh, he cracked that. He found it. Oh. oh. A lot of wood on the deck. Oh, he's going to play one of them, David, obviously. Hey, I love to spray and pray, baby. Yeah, but which one are you going to go on? You're going to go, gotta go the... right for the front pin. Try to push yeah. everything around. Either that or you go yeah. off to the one on right. the right. very right. Spray the two in the back. No, it did not go over there. The seventh pin you remained upright. You know what he forgot upright. to do? Spray and pray. He pray. forgot to nod to the gods. Yeah, the canopy. Oh. Just oh. missed it. Now, David, there's another example of Kingleton bowling. He kept the ball. We all saw Travis Falk, our excellent producer and director of replay machine that he directs and operates, showed the ball going to the left of the seven pin. Yep. Stayed on the, the alley, did not go in the gutter, and the pin didn't fall down. Well, it, how? I don't know. He, the he pinch, missed it. I know, but he missed the it. ball should have made contact with the pin. Therapy, That's Steve. Therapy. It is so he frustrating. Missed All right, he missed it. Okay. All right. Four pin, four horsemen, left and no, he nice got it. He up. drilled it. He drilled it. He split them. It appeared to be, but no, on replay, it showed he that used the, the wood. The wood took out the pin. Now he wants the fill ball to really put the pressure on Steve Reno Jr. Oh, and he won an eight, nine, or a ten fill. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure right now he'd be looking for that ten fill. That would oh, make him he, very he happy. He wants the hammer. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Why do I disappointing so right. Very disappointing. Every pin blocks. matters. But he got the spear. It forces Steve Reno to get one spear, at least one mark. Two bats. He's oh, he's gonna to climb the ladder and keep on climbing. Yeah, he's gonna have to um get get a marker too. The there it is. Eagle. On the ninth box of, of the second game, the spread eagle. Oh, he tried to get the that spare. Just, that dreaded eagle could have just sealed Steve Reno Jr.'s. He is just absolutely beside himself. Yeah. That's you can't throw the ball any better. You throw it once again, people in Candleton Bowling. You throw the ball, you hit your object, and you land up getting penalized. That's all there is to it. He didn't get penalized. The pin's counted. He got a spread eagle, didn't he? Penalized is throwing the ball down and not hitting anything. All right. He's got to recover. I got to recover. He had, had pinned this time. Fall down, seven. Fall down where you fall. Oh, my goodness. Nope, stand up and fight. Stand up. It's actually, that, that's probably what Dennis is saying. Please stand up and fight. Goodness. Through two beautiful balls. You know, He's that, disappointed. That, Steve's looking through his, uh, his notebook looking for his therapist's number right now. Oh, I can't find it. If, if, if we were near the Tobin Bridge, this guy would be jumping. Uh, and he oh, he up did! The spare. He nice did ball find for it. The spare. He found it. He played it right. Yeah, he was spraying to pray. Yeah, he hit the second piece of wood, David. I would have gone for the first piece of wood, but he found it. You better get your eyes checked there, Steve. If it oh, was no. the first piece of wood, a little lower. No, it was. It was the second. I said I would have aimed for the first piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he did, but just a little lower. Well, who piece. knows? Maybe he aimed for the second. We don't know. We'll have to ask him in the uh, interview section. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here he goes. He's got to crank it. Not. He needs the big field to win the match here at the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. And, oh, whoa, boy, did five. he fire that one up. He knew what he needed. Yeah. Filled it with a five. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Yep. Well, first match went to Steve Reno Jr. Second match went to Dennis Nuzzo over Steve Reno Jr. to a score of 114 to 103. Steve Reno and Dennis Nuzzle's match, won by Dennis Nuzzle by one pin. That's spectacular, I got to say, by you know, the way. Steve Reno knew he That's needed pressure. He needed seven in the last box. He fired that ball, just missed the head pin on the fill and got five. You Unfortunately, know what, it's bowling. Steve, I always tell you, every pin counts. You're absolutely correct, David. You, know? you emphasize that all the time.
Recapping today's score, we've got Dennis Nuzzle with one strike and six spares. They were even. Even what? strikes and spares. Yeah, that was, that was one of the, the closest matches we've seen in a long time. Dennis Nuzzle will move on to Steve Reno Sr. That's right, I said Sr. 